to my YouTube channel and today we are going to be talking about we're going to be talking about um we're going to talk about um TikTok um because it affects a lot of people's self-confidence so we're going to talk about TikTok and self-confidence and today's it gets real and I have some tea because I don't like coffee so let's get started Okay, so whenever I go into my for you, for you page, I see the really skinny girls. I see the girls that are like 90 pounds. I see the girls that are like 160 pounds. I see some girls, but mainly I see the girls that weigh six, five or the weight you're supposed to be. And me, always getting judged for my weight and you know, but I'm here today to talk about self-confidence. You need your self-confidence. If you are struggling with your self-confidence, take time off of TikTok. Get off of TikTok and get off of Instagram because comparison is another thing I like to do. I compare to myself, I compare myself to the skinny girls. I'm like, I wish I was this girl. I wish I had blank. But you know what I kind of get sad about sometimes is People have these sponsorships with water bottles. Legit water bottles. Uh, the coldest water bottle, everyone has a sponsorship with them. Um, if they don't, they just use their water bottles a lot. I have never been on the For You page, so I get sad sometimes. But I do want to say that this YouTube channel is It Gets Real. Like, I'm doing a It Gets Real series. So. So sometimes on TikTok, you have some people who are mental health advocates that like me. I love those types of people who are going to be so real to you. Um, the type of people who are like, if you're struggling, if you need a friend, be a friend. Like comment a red heart if you're sad. Um, so I want you guys to comment down below how you are feeling. One heart for happy, two hearts for sad, three hearts for need a, need a friend, be a friend in my comments. I will also comment down below too. And you know, your mental health, your mental health and your physical health are number one. You don't need a boy, it's like, I follow a lot of people with boyfriends. I follow a lot of people who are happy all the time. Like they're not happy all the time, but I see it in themselves which self-confidence. We're gonna go into the topic of self-confidence. You basically, self-confidence. Let's describe it in three Editing words. Editing to your and okay, so I forgot to say um, self-confidence in three words is your ability to, your ability, your skills, and your judgment. Um, Like, say you're doing dance and you're like, I lack self-confidence in that area. That is it in three words. I'm struggling with self-confidence. You should be like, girl, you're so cute. I love the outfit you're wearing. You look so good today. Or something random like that. So, and also comment, comment things that are necessary. Comment things like, I love you. Like to a friend, like, I know you're struggling right now, but I'm here for you. Comment, I'm here for you. If you need, if you need some, if you need some advice, I got you. But I can give, I'm gonna give like one fact about me. I can give better boyfriend advice and not have a boyfriend and give good mental health advice, but struggle with this sometimes. But all you need to do is have a clear mindset. Like I know people, I know you have those messy people in your life, toxic people need to stay out of people's lives. Toxic. And I will talk about toxic friendships in another episode um, because toxic people are just not what we need. This is what I would say to someone who is being toxic. Hey, I understand you may be struggling, um, but why are you doing this? Why? What do you need? Um, and someone being very toxic could be struggling with themselves could be like, oh, I'm not good enough. I'm, so I need to cause, I need to cause havoc in someone else's life to get my attention I need. 
bullying is why they do this. They, they, they're they struggling with themselves or they're struggling. So they want to bully. They want to get attention. They want to drag people down instead of out. Um, So I would have been like, hey, dude, can I, can we talk for a minute? Pull them aside be like, why? Why is this happening? You And be like, hey, please stop. Like, I know you're struggling and help give guidance. Like, I know you're struggling and, you're, and I know you you bullied me, but I'm going to help you. But like, I'm going to help you. If you stop, I can help. I can help with, with whatever. Don't just be like, oh, I hate you because you did something to them. Give them good advice. What people need to hear when they're struggling with their self-confidence. You are good enough. You can do this. Never give up. You got this. I'm here for you. If you ever need someone to vent here, I'm here for you. Um, Give them good advice. Be like, okay, this is what you need to do. Give them like a plan out your day. Don't just sit in your bed all day like I do. But yeah, be like, okay, this is this is what you can do to succeed. Never like these are like don't this is say something like you got this, you got this, go go go, you got this. Like hype them up. Like you're beautiful. You're everything. These words yeah. to you, they are toxic. Kira, you're not good enough. You're never gonna succeed. Give up. This is more editing, Kira. Stop trying. Like, just honestly, just stop. You're gonna make a fool of yourself. Don't wear that. That outfit's disgusting. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring in comparison. Okay, so comparison is saying, um, she is skinny. Um, comparing yourself is like, oh, um, she's skinny. I wanna be skinny. Like, you're saying she's so beautiful and I'm not. Um, Comparing yourself, it can you can struggle with this for, for many things. Like, um, I'm going to put in the definition of comparison now. The definition of comparison is basically comparison means it's basically an act of intense to compare. Like you're comparing an apple to a banana, but you're saying you're saying you're taking things about yourself that you don't like about you. And you're and you're saying, oh, I love this. You're saying, oh, I wish I had brown eyes. I wish I was skinny. You're saying things that are this. And yes, I brought myself back inside because it got too hot outside. By the way, I wanted to put that in the video because a lot of people are gonna be very confused. People, I am not afraid to talk about things that need to be talked about. I am not afraid to say, stop. Don't do that. Yeah, I have gotten people in trouble for for reasons that that needed to be done. Yeah. We'll be an episode on toxic friends um next Sunday. Toxic we're gonna do toxic people and toxic friends in the same episode. So that will be next week's episode. Uh stay tuned for next Sunday. Um uh, if you need anything, literally, I'm here for you. Like, my DMs on, on TikTok and Instagram are always open. Um, unless you're going to send me some shady stuff. But my TikTok is amazing, Kirikrupa3. Um, we're going to talk about, we're also going to go into a story time um, coming up. I'm planning a video soon talking about my story, like a story because I want to talk, you guys know how I always talk about Elevate? Um, well, I want to tell you guys my story and what I would talk about if I ever got the chance to go up, go up on that stage and talk about my story on how I led myself to Jesus. I have met an amazing person named Jayla she is just an amazing. I recommend, um, she has commented, um, I recommend you go check out her YouTube channel. If I don't link it down in the description box, I'll link it in the comments. Oh wait, so what I meant to say was Jayla makes me happy. She's always, she's that type of girl who was like, straight up, she's like, you're so pretty today. She, she's just, I love that girl. Um, I definitely recommend. She also posts amazing YouTube videos, like I said. Um, I've seen a lot of her YouTube videos, and she just... I love all of her YouTube videos. And I'm sorry for this hot mess of a YouTube video. 
I had to delete a lot of footage because it was just not good video quality. Like it was not something I would talk about. If you do want to see the original video, uh, I can, if you do want to see the original video, I deleted like 26 minutes of like a clip because it was so bad. But stay tuned for other YouTube videos. And yeah, and I'm sorry I do this a lot. I forgot to, I just looked at how many times I did this. It's, I did it in every, almost every clip. I'm so sorry about that. She's just an amazing person and her brightness brings a lot of brightness out on my life. Um, by the way, yes, I am wearing a sweatshirt in the Texas heat, but let me say, never give up. Your confidence is what you need. A smile is everything. Just, just smiling at someone will make someone's day. Just laughing at something that's not funny will help someone be like, ah, yeah, my joke was definitely not funny, but here you go. Um, but I'm super excited for this series. It gets real. We'll get realer. We'll get to the topics that you guys would never expect a 14 year old to talk about. But I do want to say, guys, I save stuff in these videos to help you guys out. Not trying to get myself in trouble. But yes. Ooh. Okay, I meant to add this in the video, but I definitely wanted to say it's okay not to be okay. It's okay to want to cry sometimes. It's okay to want to just lay in your bed. It's okay to want to be alone sometimes. Uh, it's totally okay not to be okay. I just wanted to say that because some people think I'm not okay and I can't be okay. If, if I'm not okay, it's not okay not to be okay. It is totally okay not to be okay. But I, don't just sit around do something that makes you happy. Do something that takes your mind away from the pain. Take your mind away from things that you're upset about. Have have fun in life. Make mistakes. But yeah, it's totally okay to make mistakes. Making mistakes in life, guys, I have had, um, I do wanna say, if you make a mistake, it's okay to make mistakes. A lot of people think just they, because they made a mistake with their boyfriend or their girlfriend, that it's their fault. It's definitely not your fault. It's with friends in the past. And I was like, oh, I look back, I was like, oh, this is definitely my fault. But then I had to learn, I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna fall down. I'm gonna get back up. But it's okay to make these mistakes. It's okay to be like, I need my alone time. It's okay to say to someone, if someone is struggling and you're helping them out, but you're struggling more, Take that time and be like, I'm so sorry. I, I need to focus on myself before. Basically, I saw this TikToker. We're gonna talk about TikTok really quickly. I saw this TikToker who is a mental health advocate and um, basically what he said in one of his videos was, if you're, help, if you're trying to help someone out but you're struggling more than the other person, the other person can get through it. You need to focus on yourself because Focusing on yourself, your mental health, your everything will get you, will get you somewhere and will help you out in the long run. I do want to say my, my YouTube channel is a safe, is a safe, is a safe place. If you need to vent, vent in my comments. If you need to be like, wow, Kira, good job. Just definitely go check out our Elevate. They are streaming services and I'm super duper excited yeah next week we'll be talking about toxic toxic people in general um yeah this is gonna be a series like we are gonna make this like number one on youtube um <laughs> definitely tell your friends and family about this youtube channel um my name is kira Krippa, by the way and i love each and every one of you i believe in you you believe in me we stick together like virtual family we are family by the way like the Krippa fam you may be a different age than Selma, but we are still we are still family, and I am still your YouTube mom. <laughs> but yeah, bye, Krupa fam. I hope you did enjoy this video. I'm sorry, some clips are weird because I had to delete 